What's up, it's Jared from Manualistic Vlog. I just wanted to make a little video about uh, something that's just annoying me lately. Uh, most of you know that I work at a doctor's clinic, um, and in Australia we have a, a kind of semi-socialised healthcare system whereby part of your taxes go towards uh, Medicare, which is a, a different thing from Medicare in the States. Basically what happens is you pay to see a doctor or what have you, uh, x-rays or pathology or something. Part of the cost of that is uh, rebatable uh, from the government. So basically taxes pay into it, like any socialized healthcare, you taxes pay into it, part of your taxes pay for it, and then you get money back as a rebate uh, from consultations. If you're in Australia, you will have heard the term, uh, or used the term yourself, bulk billing. Now, here's how it works. For a general consultation, uh, more than 5 minutes, less than 20 minutes, Medicare uh, will give you back, regardless of what you pay, uh, currently $37.60. Okay. So, Bulk billing works like this, instead of the doctor charging you an amount and you getting back $37.60, bulk billing is the direct billing of that $37.60 to the government to pay that GP afterwards. So, rather than you paying the entire consultation fee up front and claiming some money back and being, you know, out of pocket a gap fee, you don't pay anything and the government pays the doctor. Now here's the problem. Multiple times a day I get asked, do you have an appointment to see the doctor? You got a time, can I get in to see a doctor? And I say, yeah sure. Uh, is it free? Sorry, do you mean bulk bill? Yeah, yeah, like free, like I don't want to pay. No, it's not free. <laughs> Uh, to not have to pay for GP services, um, in my experience in Australia, is such a um, common expectation and people don't understand that it's not free. There is, there is not anything really free in this world. If you're talking about like uh, commercial goods and services and things like that, there's no such thing as free. Everything costs something and just because money doesn't exchange hands with you and the service provider doesn't mean that there isn't a cost involved. It just annoys me so much and I've been wanting to say something about it for a long time. I feel like I feel like a GP services, so primary healthcare services in um, Australia are kind of undervalued because if something doesn't cost you anything you don't really put much value on it, right? Like the things in your life that you value either have a sentimental value or a some kind of monetary value, right? So either it's a piece of crap, well maybe not a piece of crap, but you know, let's just say for the sake of argument, say a piece of crap, but it means something to you because you got it from your Mima and it, you know, you've had it since she died or something like that, right? Or um, something having a monetary value like I don't know, I got that gold, I got some gold. Nobody places value on those services, I know that's a bit broad to say, but a lot of people don't really place value on those services. Like, do you know how many times I answer the phone and have the conversation that I just demonstrated and that person just hangs up and doesn't even, doesn't even apologize or anything, just basically hangs up and looks for another doctor that won't charge them anything? So many times, in a day, every day, and because people think that their health isn't worth paying for. And it's just, it's absurd to me that people think that, you know, you go to medical school for however many years, open a practice, employ a bunch of doctors to see patients, and that's not going to cost you anything to access. There's a lot of people who say things like, oh, healthcare is a human right. And it's like, well, no, access to healthcare is a right. I think, I personally think access to healthcare you should never be, you should never be priced out of healthcare. And to be fair, my clinic 
but the clinic that I work for and have been working for for a lot of time is right in the middle of the CBD. So expect to pay a lot, um, and that's just the fact. Um, it's basically the CBD is the epicenter billing, <laughs> epicenter of expense, and the further away you get, the more and more affordable it becomes. Because we're not catering for people who, you know, come in with your four kids with their runny noses. Generally, it's business people um, who work in the city who are looking for convenience and, you know, get its own kind of thing. And there's, there's a price to that. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's a stupid rant, but I just, I felt like I had to say it. Also, I was kind of bored and I didn't really have anything to do and I was trying to put, put some time between me and ordering something from Uber Eats. That's how it is. Um, kind of made a decision to go to the States next year. So, uh, yeah. Update on that. It was really funny. I was messaging my mom uh, on Facebook Messenger, and I said, uh, "Get a visit the states. And she said, visit or move to." Hey, Australia is annoying, but it's not that. It's not so bad that I'm gonna pack up my whole life and move to Australia. Uh, I know there's a few gun channels people that want me to, but uh, she's she, she's been pretty good to me over the last ten years. So. <laughs> More news on that when it comes. Uh, to be to be fair, I want to give myself enough time to save money and not have to stress about it. So I'm looking to go in November of next year. So year away, plenty of time. But you know, I'm, I'm looking to looking to uh, come over and hopefully meet some of you awesome people. And you can see how truly short and fat I am. Uh, I guess we'll have a short fat balding off with uh, who? Me, Gary, Night Strike. <laughs> we'll have our own little own little club there. But anyway, yeah, like I say, I'll let you know when uh, when something solid happens with that. But God bless. Look after each other and I'll see you when I see you.